Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Model Y becomes Austria's best-selling car, surpassing Skoda and Volkswagen. Tesla Energy gets new competitor as GM plans energy storage products. Tesla saves an estimated $114 per car by removing USS. And, there's no evidence Tesla cheated crash tests with special code, Euro NCAP says. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla Model Y captures the European market. The electric compact SUV has become the best-selling car in Austria, surpassing Skoda and Volkswagen. After Tesla restored and increased production at Giga Shanghai and also increased the production capacity of Giga Berlin, its success in Europe improved significantly. In September, a high number of Tesla cars were delivered to European countries, which guaranteed them the first positions, not only on the lists of the best-selling EVs, but also leadership in several automotive markets. The clear leader was Model Y, which Tesla CEO Elon Musk predicted would become the world's best-selling car, and evidence indicates that achievement is not far off. According to Statistik Austria, 1,421 Tesla Model Ys were sold in September. The car captured an impressive 6.9% market share. By comparison, in September last year, Model Y had a 2.1% market share, selling 372 units, reflecting a 282% growth in 2022. This high number of cars sold has made Tesla Model Y the best-selling vehicle in the country. The compact SUV has outsold locally popular Volkswagens and Skodas, underscoring that Europeans are interested in owning quality EVs, instead of petrol pollutants, and over-expensive locally made electric vehicles. Lagging by 478 units, a huge difference for Austria, Skoda Octavia is in second place, with 943 units sold. The car took a 4.5% market share in the country, in third place is Volkswagen Polo, with 629 units sold. Volkswagen ID.4 finished fourth with 513 units. Closing out the top five is Cupra Formentor, with 421 units. Moving to the next update, Tesla Energy gets new competitor as GM plans energy storage products. Tesla and General Motors' rivalry may soon extend beyond electric vehicles and advanced driver assist systems. As per recent reports, GM is moving beyond the automotive industry, with plans to offer energy storage and management services to residential and business clients through its new division, GM Energy. This should put GM in even more fierce competition with Tesla. General Motors noted recently that GM Energy would be building on the company's existing Ultium Charge 360 public charging service, with two new units, Ultium Home and Ultium Commercial, to provide clients with stationary storage batteries, solar panels, and hydrogen fuel cells. This is quite similar to Tesla Energy, which has long offered stationary storage and solar products. GM executive Travis Hester, who heads the veteran automaker's EV growth operations, noted that Tesla would be GM's biggest competitor. We're getting into the entire ecosystem of energy management. Our competition in this space on the automaker side is really only Tesla, which is a strong energy management company. There are a lot of analogies you can draw with Tesla, Hester said. Hester noted that GM estimates the overall addressable market for energy storage and management will be between $120 billion and $150 billion, according to a Reuters report. He declined, however, to give GM Energy's expected revenue projections. General Motors seems to be gearing up to start the ramp of GM Energy, just as its new electric vehicle offerings are entering the market. Sales and installation for Altium Home Services are expected to begin late 2023, around the same time as the expected launch of the Chevrolet Silverado EV pickup for private customers. Altium Home's residential battery storage units are expected to be similar to Tesla Powerwall's. Altium Commercial would offer products that are designed for businesses, from larger battery packs to microgrids, connected to hydrogen fuel cells. 
Similar to Tesla Energy's clients, businesses who opt for Altium Commercial should also be able to sell energy back to the grid during periods of high energy use. GM will be teaming up with Sun Power Corporation to provide its clients with solar panels as well. Moving to the next update, Tesla saves an estimated $114 per car by removing USS. Tesla saves an estimated $114 per car by removing ultrasonic sensors, USS, and switching to its Tesla Vision, according to a cost breakdown analysis by Monroe Live team member Mike Lane. In October, Tesla announced that it is replacing its USS with Tesla Vision by removing them from the Model 3 and Model Y vehicles. With today's software, this approach gives autopilot high-definition spatial positioning, longer range visibility, and ability to identify and differentiate between objects. As with many Tesla features, our occupancy network will continue to improve rapidly over time, the company said. In the cost analysis, Lane provided estimated costs of what Tesla spends to install USS on its vehicles. Please note that the following numbers are estimates. Tesla has 12 USS on each of its vehicles, with an estimated cost of $8 or $96 total. At an estimated $0.15 cents each, Tesla's heat-staked brackets for parts and installation total $1.80. Its fascia wire sensor harness is estimated to cost $2.20 each, totaling $4.40 for two. For the underhood wiring connectors, Tesla uses two at an estimated cost of $0.40 cents each, totaling $0.80. Cents. It also uses wiring and connectors for the dash and body harnesses, estimated at $0.50, cents, totaling $1. Tesla also uses two integrated circuits, estimated to cost $5 each. The grand total comes out to $114 per vehicle. Lane also gave a quick breakdown of the cameras, evaluated how far the cameras could see, and shared a couple of other things he noticed. Moving to the last update, there's no evidence, Tesla cheated crash tests with special code, Euro NCAP says. An investigation into Tesla using special code, marked for crash testing vehicles, hasn't found any evidence that the automaker cheated on its crash tests. Tesla has an incredible record when it comes to crash safety. Its electric vehicles have consistently achieved top safety ratings with auto safety agencies around the world. The latest safety accolade came from Euro NCAP and Australia's NCAP, which released their own testing results for the Tesla Model Y, and the electric vehicle achieved the highest Euro NCAP overall score under its new protocol. The incredible achievement was quickly put in doubt last month after a report revealed that Tesla has been adding code that involves crash testing agencies, including NCAP and Euro NCAP, to the vehicles involved in the safety testing. According to Tesla hacker Green, who found the code in Tesla's software, he was able to confirm that Tesla has been giving one-off builds to crash testing agencies and that the tweaks that the software code brings are non-visible settings on the autopilot side. The report triggered an investigation by Euro NCAP, which has now given an update to CNN. Euro NCAP program director Ailed Williams says that there's no evidence Tesla used the code to cheat the tests. The organization has reportedly examined Tesla's software updates to test vehicles and not found any fault. The biggest fear was reportedly geofencing for some features, like Tesla does for its FSD beta program for example, but the agency says it is not the case. Now as to why Tesla has code referencing the safety agencies in the first place in its software, Euro NCAP has reportedly been told that the software code referencing Euro NCAP and NCAP are used only to identify the region for which the car is configured. This explanation is not satisfactory to everyone. Green, the hacker who originally raised the red flag, noted, Japan uses different road markings as well, and it is not in the software with Euro NCAP and NCAP, which would indicate that there's another way for Tesla to identify the regions in the software. Euro NCAP is continuing its investigation, and it will try to replicate its original safety tests. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. 
Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.